Hello everyone, and welcome back to Next Space Rebels, where I have decided to add more boosters. Well, not really more boosters because they don't have engines on them, but uh, basically these fuel pods that we are going to dump off. Now, uh, the additional ones are going to be jettisoned at the same time as these inner ones because there's no uh, separate gate right now, but I might change that depending on how things go. But now we're up to 2.5 tons. I decided I just want to try to use algae fuel, uh, the algae barrels, in order to do this. Uh, so that's why we're not using the experimental biofuels here. The experimental biofuel tank has a better ratio. It's just overall better in many ways, though much more dangerous in terms of stress. But of course, if we use the pool parts, that's not probably not going to be a problem. Really, with the experimental biofuels, it might be most interesting to see how quickly we can get to orbit or, uh, you know, in the most stressful g-force kind of situation how many g's can this program take without the simulation going out of whack might be the thing with them but here we have the unique situation of having such a heavy dry mass for these tanks 26 kilograms of dry mass for 60 kilograms of fuel uh, so that's pretty bad and we want to see if we can overcome that is the deal so uh, in order to overcome that, we have removed as much other dry mass as I thought possible. I've decided to add back the upper stage here with four tanks. And so we have the, uh, this is the large bell engine actually. Uh, I don't know whether it's good to use it instead of the compact engine, but it does have the more, uh, the better efficiency. So, yep, we'll try it. And we've got it hooked up like this. The problem is stress on this upper stage as we get to high g-forces on the lower stage. So we'll see how that works out for us if it does at all. So I've changed the staging so that these uh, the, the coupler and the gate here are on three. Uh, the outer ones are on one and the inner ones are on two. But this, the gates here are still on one. So, but because these outer things will actually uh, deplete at the same time. So, okay, we will build. I'm probably never going to use the auto swivel, so uh, just a heads up on that. It's no fun at all. That is tall. The upper stage makes uh, it's sort of like those distorted maps. The top part is looking way bigger than. Oh, we can actually pan this view. I didn't even think about that. We can actually. I, I didn't even try it in uh, career mode. What before we launch, we can actually look at it in here like this. Huh. Okay. Never did that. Okay, um, it's gonna topple any second now. Uh, we'll have all that. Okay, launch. Well, it's going up, as I always say. Somebody suggested ways to have it rotate, um, the parts, and I've tried. It doesn't seem to work. Wow, that's a lot of acceleration. It's like a plane. I, I want to try and make planes. That's gonna be a thing. Okay, switching. Okay, those went off. Uh, initially, when I do that, the gimbal here seems to be less responsive. When I stage, I mean. Uh, we're going way too high, actually. Overcompensated. Okay, next stage. Uh, 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 nope, 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 nope. Oh, it broke apart. I don't know whether I can make an upper stage that doesn't break apart, to be honest. And again, uh, it's focused on the cluster engine right now, but I think the upper stage did break apart. So... I mean, I did reinforce the structure with pool parts here. You can see there's some pool parts because those are extra strong. But... Uh, I don't know if anything's gonna stop it from breaking apart, to be perfectly honest. Hmm. 15 kilograms. This is 4 kilograms for 2 per second. This is 15 kilograms for 8. So, 4 of these would end up being 8. And 16 kilograms. I think we'll put the pumps on the booster things. I would try and add gates to these so that they don't expend at the same time as those, but that's extra mass, so I, I don't really want to do that, I think. 
Okay, so now we have pumps on the outer bits. Oh, this connection did not work out. And no pump in the center. That'll mean our acceleration near the end will be less, is the goal. So when we're only on the core, we're not going to have as much acceleration. But I don't know if that's going to save it or not. But that's the idea. I'll try and launch steeper this time. It's a lot of building. Oh, I wish it kept my data. And that's as much as I can zoom out here. Alright, go. Next Space Rebels is taking a lot of my processor right now. I don't know if the recording is going well. Seems like this is a pretty part intensive sort of thing right now. I don't even know if it's going to do G-forces right. Staging, staging. Yeah, initially the gimbal is not responsive when I stage. Much less acceleration here. That might not be good for our survival. But will we at least not have a stressed out upper stage? That's the question. I think I can do with two pumps on the core. Move two of them in. Oh, we gotta start going down like this. Well. Staging. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Obviously not good right now, but we're mostly interested in whether this breaks up. No, I think the camera is just weird. I shouldn't pay attention to the camera. We should just... Oh, that's weird though. Okay, uh, yeah. It's all weird. Okay, but it survived. So what we need to... Do... I just keep doing that. Uh, we need to launch into a different sort of trajectory. One that's much steeper. So go. Okay, hopefully this will be better. If not, we'll put an extra pump on the core. Those are off. That's negligible acceleration. I thought we had more acceleration before. Come on, Kimball. Why is it only 2.5 and such? Hmm. Of course it is carrying the heavy upper stage as well. One thing that would be nice is if we could set up in creative mode sort of standard instrumentation. In other words, have it just keep our things open, the angle, the horizontal speed and stuff like that. That would be nice. Uh, it's still too shallow. Okay. Third stage. Up, up, up. Uh, I mean, it's not getting us much faster than having a lot less fuel does. <laughs> so, I mean, that horizontal speed, uh, our initial attempts were better. So, it looks like thrust weight ratio is a good thing. Um, we just need it so that this doesn't all break apart. I mean, I know, of course, we can get the serious thrust weight ratio with the other tanks, the experimental ones. Mm. I think I'm going to move these pumps. The problem is the fuel feeding in here. In order to put gates on this and the opposite pod here, we would have to actually put two gates on each one. The gates aren't that heavy though. Maybe we'll try it so that we stage these off first. Will that be worth it in order to dump the, that extra mass? Maybe. Okay, well, so we'll be dumping those outer ones first. And we'll see what happens. Alright, launch. I've made a drastic miscalculation. What? My rocket did not move. This is a good point. Okay, first of all, the plumbing all seems to be fine. I guess because we're not getting the feed pressure from these tanks, and that's a total of four 
So maybe we'll go with the turbo pump again, the bigger pump again. That's not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> um, that might cause more acceleration when I don't want it. Okay, go. Now well, it's going up now. After this attempt, I might take a break from this particular design and we'll try the experimental biofuel version with immense acceleration and see how that goes. Right now I haven't had to turn the gimbling at all, it seems to be going fine. Okay, staging. Alright, so now on the inner tanks. That's probably more acceleration the upper stage is going to be able to handle. Uh... Um, no, that's that's not the... Oh, uh, no! Why is it going like that? No, that's not what that key was supposed to do. Oh, shoot. Yeah, even though I pressed the right key, it did not go... It wasn't actuating right. Um, I'm using now the upper stage because that's the only way I can do it reliably. Oh well. Um, that's weird. Yeah, the lower stage just completely gave up on trying to gimbal properly. Very stuttery video. That's not just the recording, that's just, it was stuttering there. Okay, well that was just horrible, but we're still going up. It'll get higher than any algae fuel has gotten before, but... Yep, and, and space apparently. See, very spacey. Yes. As the opening to some 1980s comedic sci-fi thing. All right, I'll uh, upload the video just so that we have the file saved. For having a rocket with only 10% of its mass consisting of structural parts. Yeah, because all of our dry mass is tanks. Okay, let's just go back to building. So the problem with the the other tanks, the experimental biofuel tanks, is um, if we just hook it up without any gates, they'll all expand in like three seconds. But I sort of want to see what that looks like. Uh, so we are going to build it like that. Cool parts. We want high stress friendly parts. Oh, right. This square nose for some reason does not match up with anything. We'll just go straight round nose then. I don't think we need pumps, though if we really want to push things, that would be fun. So again, we uh, will want gates, and I've left plenty of room for them. Oops. Try to make things neat, but as usual, things will get very messy eventually. The problem is this is too light a rocket. Alright, once we put the engine, the engine is too much dry mass for this. If it could preserve my connections, that'd be make it easier, but it doesn't. <laughs> so, uh, when I copy, I mean. So, let's say I copy this. See, now this doesn't have any of the connections. Let's have a real triple barrel thing. Otherwise, there's no way we have enough fuel to lift. Uh, see, it automatically, when I copy things, it automatically rotates it. It's nothing that I do. So, let me demonstrate. So, press C. It already does that. It's no movement of mine, so press C and it automatically rotates those nose cone parts and these other round parts, apparently. So, yep, nothing that I actually do matters at all. No, um, <laughs> I mean, we have to use the cluster engine for efficiency, but it's a lot of dry mass. It's amazing, it doesn't say that has any aero issues like this. But, oh well. We're just gonna do a single stage. I, it's not like I think this is gonna get to orbit or anything. This is just an experiment. What does it do, is the question. It's gonna have three seconds of fuel and immense acceleration. It may crash the game or my computer. Okay, I don't have any serious hope of actually controlling this thing. But for later on, we'll have that down there. 
and... Well, seems aerodynamically fine. Look at, look at that number for the combined power of all engines. 1.44 million! Have you ever seen such a number? I haven't. It's been in the 10,000s so far. It's only a one-ton rocket. Okay, let's see what happens. Three seconds. I mean, probably less than that, maybe. I don't know. There's some dangerous stuff right here. Okay, before it flops. I want to see the data, of course. Uh, probably we don't need the horizontal speed or angle. We're not going to get any of that. <laughs> I don't think it registered all the acceleration, though. Oh, it all broke apart. Yeah, that was too much stress for it. Did you, it went pew! <laughs> I, I don't know, I'd have to review the video to see. But it, it didn't really get any sort of data on that. Uh, okay, back to design. We're gonna have to... We, we are, as expected, going to have to add gates to this thing. Lots and lots of gates. We'll start with a four-tier design. We're obviously not staging anything off. That's... For now, the plan. Nope, not after one sec. Well, we could... You know what? It's probably better to do seconds instead. Because I'm probably not going to be quick enough. So let's say after three seconds... Okay, so nine, nine, nine. Six, 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 and three. Three, yep. Three, three. All right. Let's see if we can keep track of it at all. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna launch straight up. I'm not gonna try and turn it or anything. Launch. It's still phew, 400 meters per second squared. Ah, it broke up. Okay, so I can't take that kind of stress. Maybe the num stress number is like acceleration pretty much exact. I don't know. I don't think so though. Okay. Briefly, we got an acceleration number though. So now I'm gonna do all the gates so that we get only one set at a time. It'll make it imbalanced a bit, but we'll try and rock it back and forth. So it'll only launch after three seconds like this, because even the first gate is delayed three seconds. Acceleration. Alright. Launch. And again, it'll wait three seconds and then go. Okay, that's uh, about 11 G's or so. Just going straight up. Oh, it's not straight anymore. And that's probably because of the way the tanks are depleting, going from one side to another. Oh, 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 I lost control. Okay. Well, I mean, closer to the end, they'll have much more acceleration. Alright, I bite. We'll try the auto gimbal. There's no way I'm gonna control it myself, so I'll, we'll see what the auto gimbal does with it. But it's only meant for fins though, so I don't know. I don't think you'll understand this. It might cause a problem. Let's find out. Let's find out if it causes a problem. Anyway, it's mostly structurally sound at this point. Kind of. Well, it's going up. I don't know if it's gonna do anything. Well, it's turning. I, I think it's... turning okay. Uh, stop turning down. Oh, it did, it did stop turning down. Okay, so it's not too bad. Okay, well we got a lot of...
high speed and not a lot of horizontal speed, so it should have turned faster than that. It didn't do a good job turning. I wonder if there's a way to... I, I don't think there is a way of telling it, hey, turn faster, you didn't turn fast enough. That's the problem with auto things. Yep, we'll drastically overshoot 160 kilometers. We can delay the, the gates a little bit more, and then that'll help it out, I guess. But I don't think we'll have enough, judge, judging from our combined speed, we're not going to have enough to get to orbit or anything, but I just want to see if we can improve the situation. So first set of gates we're not going to mess with, but the later gates we'll delay a bit. Okay, so now we've delayed it, let's see. Okay, go. And we've got three second delay there. There's the sort of delay there. Okay, and then next set. Probably this last one doesn't need to be delayed. It's basically horizontal anyway. Okay, still overshooting. Well, we may need more fuel. <laughs> but I sort of knew that because the engine is so heavy. Basically, the engine becomes payload to orbit. Yeah, we've got a whole almost two kilometers per second more than we need on the vertical. Okay, but we could have more fuel, and we should have more fuel. Floating parts detected. Ah, uh, where? I don't... Let me see. I don't see any floating parts. Where do you, where do you see floating parts? Can I just tell it to delete all floating parts? No, so I've got a problem where it says floating parts are detected, but I don't see parts like that. And there's no undo. Unfortunately, I didn't save the video of the last launch, so I can't pick this back up again. Oh, now it doesn't show floating parts. Okay, I don't know what the heck that was, but... Um, hopefully it doesn't have a floating part issue again. Okay, look, this got to be connected, okay? Game. Okay, now we'll have nearly a minute of burn time. Not quite. Uh, four, 54 seconds, yeah, 54 seconds of burn time. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, launch. And the three second delay here. And off it goes. Such acceleration, like 9 Gs and such. A little bit slower than before because we've got the upper bit. Which doesn't seem quite aligned with the lower bit. Okay. Still a lot of vertical speed, but we're trying to manage that by shutting it off through the gating. But yeah, it's a pretty lackluster auto gimbal, frankly. Ah, uh, well, okay, so 5.1 kilometers per second. It's not very good. I thought adding the extra fuel would help, but it didn't seem to. Anyway, we can easily put more and more fuel and build it up like that. But my main question with these experimental biofuel tanks was how much we could get out of them before things broke apart. And I got my answer there. Uh, and we can keep it stable like this. Um, yeah, I'll think about whether I want to develop this further to try and get it to orbit. I think the algae fuel is certainly a more challenging thing. This is just a matter of we put more fuel. We don't need to worry about 
acceleration, right? I mean, got plenty of acceleration to use. Basically, you can trade off acceleration for more fuel anytime you want, and eventually we'll get to the speed that we need. The thing is that the dry mass of the tanks is low, so no matter what, I mean, there is the pool parts. I mean, we're relying on the pool parts, but the more fuel we put on, the less we need to rely on the pool parts for the structural mass, so we could potentially get rid of them if necessary in order to make sure that we limit our dry mass. So it'll all work out with this one. The math on the on the algae fuel one is a whole lot harder because of the dry mass of the tanks themselves. So yeah, this passed 160 kilometers with a good enough margin. Uh, so we got the acceleration profile that we wanted. Uh, we would just need more fuel. I'll think about whether I want to do more with this. But I'm not sure. I'll upload this video. Select to connect right on time so that we still have it. I'll call it, name it actually something. Experimental Biofuel yeah, Fuel Rocket 1. I wonder if we can rename videos. Some of them need different names. Like this one that I have here. I mean, it's not like I'm not gonna notice which one it is, but... Open folder with video file, share with others. Oh, I actually... it actually does open the video file folder for us. So it's actually saved to my computer. I wish it was the full video of the flight though. Of course I'm recording the video, so I don't need to worry about that. But they only record 17 seconds there. I don't know why I'm even interested in the fact that they record the video since I'm recording the video myself. Yeah, I guess we can't rename the video. See, on YouTube we can do that. <laughs> anyway, uh, analytics is just typing it in like that. Okay. Alright, but at least we have that one. Um, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. I'll have to think about what I want to do with that one too. Uh, it seems like my changes have only made it worse. I think does the upper stage even help? I don't think so. So, you know what, let me just quickly try it without a separate upper stage and we'll just have the core. Maybe we'll even, I think the auto gimbal will drive it into the ground because the acceleration is so low though. Okay, now it's back to being a single engine, no upper stage. And launch. That's a lot of roll, though. Okay, staging. Ooh. A little bit wiggly there. Okay, staging. Uh, uh, no, go. Yep. Oh, that's all? Gosh darn it. It's worse than before. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to think about this one. So... Yeah, these algae fuel barrels. Maybe they're not good enough, like she said. Well, I'll think about it, but next time we'll try something completely different. And maybe that uh, I should make a Soyuz or a 2D Soyuz anyway. Somebody had asked me to do that. I just uh, clear my head a little bit. I, I think I might actually have to do math on this one. It's horrible, it's horrible, but I think it might be time to actually math the stuff in this game out. <laughs> Uh, this, this might be, I might need to actually use math to figure out if launching these tanks is possible. So we'll think about that. But uh, for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.